Hey, welcome to Cruise Day Fun Live. It's great to have you with us again if you're watching live or if you're watching from the future. Uh, we're excited to have you back as we talk about a couple of exciting topics. Our main topic today, we're going to talk about not Cruise Day Fun. Well, kind of. It's a type of Cruise Day Fun. It is Cruise C Day Fun. Sea Day Fun. Yay! So we're going to talk about all the fun you can have on a Sea Day. Yeah. When you're you're not you're the cruise ship's not taking you to a port you don't you don't have some exciting excursion waiting on land for you what can you do on board that's fun what do we recommend that's We're what's gonna... called the sea day and today's topic sea day fun exactly that's right and after <laughs> that we're going to talk about the 10 things that you will love about norwegian jewel oh, yeah. so we're going to we're going to we're going to try giving some love to the ships that we've been on in the past. Starting this week with Norwegian Jewel, we're going to tell you the 10 things that you will love about Norwegian Jewel, 10 things you won't want to miss out on. So that's pretty exciting. It is. Yeah. So what's going on with uh, with Joy right now? What, what what are you excited about? What's new? The new year. The new year. Well, yeah, this is our first time back since, uh, since the new year, right? Because the uh, last time we were here was New Year's Eve. Right, and uh, we we drank all the champagne and got totally wasted on our live show. It was a mess. You should go back and see it if you haven't watched it. It might not have quite gone that way. I don't think it went like that. I'm trying to get people to go back and watch our old video. <laughs> oh, okay. So okay. So that's so, what's that called? What's that called? A uh, um, a review. Uh, Sure. Anyway, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, <laughs> 2023. The cruise day fun moves on. Happy 2023. Um, yes. Yes. So we have um, some exciting topics tonight. We got some exciting topics coming up uh, in a couple weeks. We've got our next cruise. And... Yes, Norwegian escape. Yep, we're, we're escaping onto a cruise ship. Yes. We're headed to the Virgin Islands of the Dominican Republic yes. on a cruise that got canceled a couple times for us over the years. So we're glad to be finally going on the Norwegian Escape, and uh, we'll yes. be sharing uh, our adventures and all the things we love, we learn and experience and love about that sailing uh, with you. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, yeah. it'll be exciting. Yes, yes, it will. Exciting so, and new. Okay, speaking <laughs> of that, stop right there because we've got to do this. We've got to say, we've got to say hello. We've got to say hello to Sea Lake Journeys first in the house. Woo uh, we also should say, Way to go, Chet and Robin. Yes. Happy should... New Year. Yes, and we should also say Happy Anniversary because today is the one year anniversary of them starting their channel on YouTube. That's fantastic. So we watched their um their anniversary episode earlier today. We go did. go and check that out if you haven't checked out the channel or you haven't seen their live uh first year anniversary spectacular it's go check it out how fast the year went it is it is and they've been doing a great job growing their channel in a very unique way that is uh very specific to them mm -hmm. um check that out at sea lake journeys um they had a, had a lot of fun bloopers and a lot of uh, great other uh uh, topics that they had today. Bloopers? It went. It went. That hour went really I fast. I know it did. So we also need to say hello to Clock Family Adventures, another great channel. I know. So we love all these cruise channels. Uh, we check them out, um, and there's so much good information. And oh, we've yeah. mentioned it before. The only reason we started a YouTube channel and, and part of the reason we really got into cruising was because we were watching all the other YouTube uh, creators. Exactly. YouTube channels about cruising. And that's, exactly. You learn a lot and it's a lot of fun. It's a community. We wanted to share share the wealth. <laughs> share, share the wealth of information. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're not wealthy by any means. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so next up, how about this? I believe you were humming the theme song or something earlier, so I, maybe that got people in the right state of mind for this. But today's trivia question is, which cruise line was prominently featured on the Love Boat TV series. Hmm. If you know the answer to which cruise line was prominently featured in the uh, TV show, The Love Boat, mm -hmm. what cruise line was it? Put the answer in the chat. 
let us know. See if you can be the first to answer. And if you're watching uh, from, as we've said in the past, if you're watching from the future, uh, go ahead and wait till we give the answer and put it in the comments so everybody thinks you knew it too. Exactly. Yes. So let's see. Let's see if we have any answers yet. Um, I see. Well, I, I see. We got to say hello. To? But, but but wait wait a minute we'll we'll wait to say hello until we get the answer I can't uh, I can't focus on one thing at a time here so the answer is do you, do you know the don't say it but do you know the answer to which do you think you know the answer to which cruise line yes. was prominently yes, featured on uh, on the love boat and the correct answer goes to the first correct answer was Bach Family Adventures Good Princess. Job. Princess, Princess Cruise Line. Yes. It's like it's a royal situation. Yep. And and uh Sea Lake Journeys uh says <laughs> Royal. That's yeah, Royal Caribbean. It's princess. I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I, I never made the connection between Royal Caribbean and Princess being both a royalty themed anyway. <laughs> so uh Sea Lake Journeys also said pre Princess and also Dale. Dale DeWitt. Good job, from, Dale. From Jen and Dale said Princess, and they mentioned that they uh they, they play the theme song with their ship horns oh that's right yes they yes. do exciting when, and new whenever there's a battle of the horns <laughs> yeah, or when they're leaving port or something exactly yeah. yeah so exciting and new uh love boat uh the answer was princess i so, always liked the theme song yeah it's pretty good uh-huh i like welcome back cotter better but you know hey anyway <laughs> let's move <laughs> Well, it's kind of the similar 70s TV, right? Yeah. So we've got two big topics, so we need to get going. We need to talk about... Yeah, so much to do, so much to cover. That's right. And what's our first topic? First topic is... Sea Day Fun. I thought you would say it. Sea <laughs> Day Fun. That's right, with enthusiasm, she says. So let's fun. go through, let's have a little talk, and then a little bit we'll get to talking about the, the 10 things that you'll love most about the Norwegian Jewel. But That's first right. up... Sea day fun. What can you do on a sea day? Oh let's let's start There's with so much to to do. Okay, well let's let's narrow it down a little bit. Let's go with daytime activities. It's a sea day. Okay. Your ship is at at sea. It's not a good idea to try to get off the ship on a sea day because you're in the middle of the ocean, right? Right. Right. So what would you do? What can you do on pretty much any cruise line on for a daytime activity? That's daytime activity. Something nice and active. Something if you're like feeling energetic and you want to get out and do something. You can walk. You can walk. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for tuning in for Sea Day Fun. That is what you could do on a cruise here <laughs> on a sea day. No, you can do you can walk, you can go to the sports place and play basketball yeah and oh and most cruise ships have a have a place that i know you 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 try we both try to avoid and you try to tell people they're doing it wrong if they go there the <laughs> fitness center yes going to fitness center on cruise you can do that if you got if you want to keep your workout routine going yeah right stay well, healthy a lot of ships not that we're not healthy but we'll, you know people like to stay healthy <laughs> Wow, we're gonna have to. I think we should have like a commentary episode of our live show later. Um, most ships, a lot of them at least, have water slides. Yes, that's you. a great daytime activity. Yes, um, <laughs> um, let's see. And uh, Randa Sita loves a sea day, so yeah, put in your chat, people, put your chat what you love about a sea day. Um, Ooh. Dale says that pickleball is getting big on uh, ships now. Oh, pickleball, yeah. I've never played that. That's I've... the one with the ball with the holes in it. Yes, it's or does a the ball actually look like a pickle? Uh, no, I guess not. It's a combination of wiffle ball and tennis and. Okay. Anyway, and... let's move on. It's a combination of those two. I think we're getting off track here a little bit. We need to cover, there's a lot more we active do. daytime activities you can do on a sea day. But speaking of getting off track, uh, Robin uh, and Chet, I think specifically uh, Chet uh, is, is saying, uh, going back to when I said, don't get off a ship, the ship on a sea day, stay on board. Uh, sea Lake Journeys, Chet says, according to the Prince to Princess Medallion, uh, Robin goes out to sea with Aquaman. Oh, Ooh. so hello, Aquaman. So, <laughs> Anyways, 
and I'm guessing we're, we're, we're the ladies are picturing the modern uh, uh, Jason Momoa Aquaman, Hello. not the uh, the green tights and orange jumpsuit uh, Aquaman of the uh, '70s cartoons. Anyway, let's move on. Um, wow. So daytime <laughs> activities also during the day you can you you can do. Uh, We'll get into some specific things on on other specific ships, but you can go swimming. Most pools have a have a most ships have a pool. Wow, you can go swimming. Yes, you can go sunbathing. You can relax. You can read a book by the pool. Okay, how about some active things you can do that maybe? Well, reading a book by a pool is that really active? Yeah, you're actively oh, reading. Turning the pages. Whoa. Okay, I, I was going to mention mini golf, which I was afraid to mention as a really active activity because I thought it was kind of like a little slower pace. But no, you can if be competitive. Book is active, you can be competitive. Oh my gosh. Doing golf, miniature golf. Have you ever played golf against my brothers? Anyway, <laughs> yes. Competitive. Yes. I played golf against you. That's that's enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> there's okay uh, there's more and i can keep up with in here and there there's 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 some uh pretty good stuff let's move on to some more relaxing activities so i'm going to start here with uh with with uh, inspiration from randa we get the, we get our lazy on we That's follow right. a strict routine of nap eat and sunning oneself uh, i love that i approve I... exactly <laughs> i love a good yep. nap Yep. Mm. So, what other relaxing activities you mentioned? I think the, the laying in the sun, uh, tanning or whatever, up. reading a book, maybe yeah. not reading the book. That's a uh, lot of energy, just soaking up the sun. And... Yep. I also enjoy getting my cup of coffee and sitting on our balcony in the morning and just relaxing and watching. Or... And then in the evening, when when my lovely wife is getting ready to go to dinner, I go out to the balcony again and enjoy the view and the nighttime air or nice and relaxing exactly or you know you can find a really good lounge and do some serious people watching yeah yeah there's a Very lot of... entertaining yes. people are so entertaining yes but i i think i think we left out a lot of activities that um you could be considered either active or relaxing they kind of fall in between like you could go play trivia they have oh, activities yeah. scheduled on these different ships. Uh, uh, you can play tri trivia. They have little game shows. Uh, you can win a ship on a stick. That's right. And kind of getting into daytime entertainment. Like I said, they have they have shows you can go and watch. Game shows maybe a little more active. Uh, you know, playing the casino maybe a little more active. Playing bingo a little more active. Or you can go watch a game show, or yeah. you can go watch a musical performance, or learn how to dance. Learn how to. Oh, well, that's pretty active. Do some, you've done that's you've true. done that before. You've done that before. Yes, and I watched. I was doing the uh, the the Randacita method. Or uh, some people like to do um, creative stuff, like learning how to draw or make something, or uh -huh. do some crafts. Yep. Crafts. Yep. And we'll we'll get into a little bit more of that when we get into specific mm -hmm. cruise lines, because there's some some kind of special programs that some of these ships have. Um, if you can think of any other ideas of things to do during the daytime, um, we're going to wrap up daytime here and we're going to move on to night. Things are going to get a little, uh, little more, uh, uh, well, dark. I don't think it's well, right sometimes people like to do like the wine tasting or the beer tasting mm -hmm. or the, or the cocktail, learn how to make cocktails. Uh -huh. mm, cocktails. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're are we talking about night. I thought. Well, do we move on tonight? I get. I, we, I I guess we're moving on tonight. But before we do, let's mention a couple of things, and we'll get into specific cruise lines, um, painting class. But Dale mentioned a couple of great ones. I don't want to forget the painting class on Holland America and hot hot glass blowing. Which still we've got our first celebrity cruise coming up next year. But um, and I don't think it's on all the ships. But yeah, can you imagine that hot glass blowing class on a cruise ship? That's pretty amazing. That um, I can just think of seeing myself with lots of band aids on my fingers because I burned myself <laughs> from the hot glass. Yeah, you might need more to bend you get burn yourself from hot glass. Oh yeah. boy, don't Ooh. do that. Um, right be to see careful. It. Yep, be careful. It was just an idea. I know, but just still be careful. So when you're... we go on our celebrity apex cruise, I don't know if they have hot, they might have it on there. It's They'll probably ship. like say, nope, Joy. 
You're on the list. You've been (laughs) banned from among us. Randacita says they have a big arcade budget for their next cruise. So they're big on the arcade. You know, our last cruise, uh, you were off taking a nap or doing some other activity that I wasn't interested in doing. And I went to the arcade, just wandering around and probably you had hiding ducks. I think I found one in there. Actually, I found six of the ones you had. They're they're in the. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Kind of defeats a purpose. Exactly. I was Um, like, why are you finding my ducks? I got I got um, caught up playing a couple of the games where you you always wander by them and you go Claw. nobody ever no worse than that the ones where you go nobody ever wins these because it's like you gotta poke the stick through the the, the little little cutout <laughs> to win don't do that to, to win the PlayStation three or or, yeah. or the MacBook or, or something like it, really expensive is prize it like the pushing thing. Kind of like that. Well, no, it was you, I, sure. That's probably better than the way I explained it before. Oh my gosh! Commentary <laughs> episode push. coming up next week. Um, so yes, and I got caught up, in, and it's really easy uh, with arcades on on these ships because you can just put in your 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 card, room key card, and just keep playing. It's not like the old days where you're popping quarter after quarter, and then you run out of quarters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can keep going. You can keep going until your spouse drags you away, screaming and kicking. Sounds like a, a casino game where the you just put coins in and, and pushes prizes to the edge, uh-huh. you know? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So there's that too. So let's get into nighttime activity. Let's see. Um, uh, veg- oh boy. So Robin, take, take control back from, from Chet. He is out of hand. Uh, <laughs> Chet has another suggestion and I'm going to assume again that it's Chet. Um, Vegetable bowling at the buffet. Vegetable bowl. I've not heard of that. Yeah, it's a fun activity. If you go on a cruise with Chet and Robin, you'll see. Uh, I, I prefer the fruit bowling, but but hey, they both work. They both work. Oh, boy. Uh, or there's bingo. A lot of people like to play bingo. Yeah. Or like the Hasbro games, you know, like let's show. make a deal. Yes. Or is it your box or my box? <laughs> <laughs> you just made up a game there. It's like it's like uh, let's make a deal back in the back in the eighties when they had the do you want this one or this one? Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. Now let's talk about and we kind of wandered in that territory a little bit, but let's get into the night. Ooh, yeah. uh, the night uh, uh, belongs to the city and the night activities. Um, what activities can you do at night? Dancing. Dancing. Yeah. The night away, karaoke. Uh, karaoke, yes. Karaoke. If you have Sing a good along. singing voice, yes. If you don't have a good singing voice, you can watch. Uh, karaoke is a good is a good nighttime activity. Exactly. Pretty much, I think we've seen it on every ship we've been on. Um, also, you can go to the bars and get have some drinks. You can go and you can uh, wander the. I mean, just walking around this ship in the night air is something so relaxing, especially after a hot day at sea. When it gets cool at night, to just go out and walk with your with your lovely spouse, right? Or you can do the the game that I've done only once or twice on a cruise ship is try to your box hit... or my box. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what is it? Is try to get a drink from every bar on the cruise ship. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, I made it to four, and then uh, yeah, I, I don't remember. As we start going on larger cruise ships, that's a dangerous game for you. I don't think you should be playing that on. Uh, on. Uh, I'm glad you didn't play it on the Mardi Gras. You'd have been in big trouble. Um, yeah. uh, some <laughs> other suggestions are, and again, uh, cruise line. I'd say cruise line specific, but the escape room uh, Dale mentioned on uh, Royal Caribbean. I don't and, like the feeling of being trapped, so I wouldn't like that game. Yep. And let's get into some of the entertainment in the evening because people oh, yeah. are mentioning. Um, Dale again mentioned the music oh, that you yes. can go and listen to a lot of great music. Um, go in like in, in the bar. Sometimes they'll play music. Sometimes mm-hmm. in the atrium. Yeah. Uh, and of course they got the shows in the main theater. Right. And the... um, uh, uh, Sea Lake Journeys is. I think Robin's got the got the control of the, the remote now because the, she just said live music. No, no, exactly. no, no jokes there about fruit or vegetables. <laughs> so that's good. So things, <laughs> things are calming down at the Sea Lake Journey's house a little bit. Yes. Um, yeah. So a lot of great activities, a lot of great entertainment. There's um, comedians. Comedians. You can go see a, a stand-up comedian for mm-hmm. zero, zero cover charge. Zero dinero. But... 
Okay, get Unless a, get you a drink. decide to buy a drink, yeah. Well, tip those, tip the wait staff. Okay, <laughs> they work really hard. Yes, they do. Yes, okay. they do. And also, uh -huh. the I, besides the com comedians uh -huh. and the musical shows, um, they just have normal people <laughs> being being funny. <laughs> Doing acrobatic stuff. That's what I was meaning. Oh. You know, where they're bendy and twisty. Okay, and... so these are employees of the cruise line. Right. Okay. Yeah, I thought you just doing like a nighttime people watching uh, bit there. No, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Normal people being bendy. Yes. So. Um, or you can, the, the, sometimes they have like, um, what's that called where you're dancing under a stick? Uh, <laughs> How okay. low can you I gotta, go? We gotta okay. We gotta stop here for a minute because I gotta explain <laughs> that Joy Joy was was gifted a bottle of rum chata, and I suspect that she broke into that just before we came in here because things. But between Chet and Joy, I can't quite keep control of the circus today. <laughs> um, sitting, Dale, what save is us, rum chata, save us, Dale. <laughs> I think you know. Sitting on the on the, in the dark. Uh, on a balcony talking about all the interesting people you met during the day while drinking wine. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. I think some people might be doing that about our uh, our uh, live show today after we're done here, too. Um, <laughs> uh, see, like, Journeys. Oh, no. Chet's got the remote back. He just said limbo. That's right. Thank you, Chet. Oh, was That's, that? Maybe, that was maybe the that game was where you're. Oh, like, I thought it was some sort of joke. Underneath. That's right. I forgot you said that. Mm -hmm. Nighttime activities. There's a lot. Now I'm gonna. There's some more. We're just kind of glossing over this, but we've got to keep moving because we got a whole other topic to cover Sometimes here. Sometimes there's white parties, you know, where people dress up in white, in white clothes, yes, and listen to their headsets, and it's a, it's a soundless party because they're listening to the sound in their headset a, or in their sound, head. I think you're talking about a silent yeah. disco. Yeah. <laughs> I like soundless party. The soundless <laughs> party, and sometimes they'll play whose box is it. Um, <laughs> It, 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 see, like Journey said, they had a uh, mango margarita last night. Oh, Ooh. still feeling the effects of that, huh? From from, from watching your show earlier, I wouldn't have been surprised. I agree. I think that was most of the bloopers were pre-recorded, though. I, 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 you guys seem to be pretty pretty recovered this morning, but you were, <laughs> you guys were a glow one. Yes. So, adult centered activities. Oh boy. Oh yeah. How do, how do I block? I just want to be prepared for what 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 Chet might say next. I, I we okay, um, adult centered activities. So on some cruise ships, um, there's activities that yeah, maybe and we mentioned a couple already. Like you, you got to be a certain age of a certain age to mm -hmm. to get the cocktails and the beers and all that good stuff. Um, sometimes they have uh, like special classes, like wine tasting. Or mixology classes, right? Um, those can be some great activities. We've enjoyed doing that. Yes. Um, I did a whiskey tasting mm -hmm. on, on a recent cruise. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Tried some whiskeys I hadn't had before, which is uh, quite a feat for me. Or you can do mixology classes and learn how to make like the classic rum and coke. Why didn't I think of tonic that? Tonic and twist. Uh -huh. Tonic and twist. <laughs> What's it? It's a twist and tonic, or What's that called? Gin and tonic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can learn how to make a gin and tonic. I don't know what's in it. Adult centered activities. <laughs> so what are the adult centered activities uh, might you do? Hey, put them in the chat, put them in the comments. We are running low on time uh, for some reason. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, we seem to be taking longer to do this than I was planning for. <laughs> kids activities. Let's get serious here and think about the kids. Won't somebody please think about the children? Um, so there's sometimes like you can play um, uh, sh uh, scavenger hunt yeah. throughout the ship. Uh -huh. who, see who, what family can find the most ducks. Okay. How about activities that are actually um, provisioned and planned by the cruise lines? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like the, the kids' clubs? The kids' Most clubs. Most cruise ships have kids' clubs, usually by different age groups. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's, can be fun activities for them. Also, mm -hmm. sometimes they have special pool areas uh, or slide areas for outdoor activities during the day for the kids. Um, and some some. Some cruise ships have special activities set aside just for kids outside of the kids' clubs. So right. a lot of options for the kids and 
For the family, we've mentioned a lot of activities that I think fit for that family already, but other activities for the families, um, obviously, something as simple, and I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet, what? but something as simple as what? going to dinner together. Yes. Going to get dinner together. So nice. When's the last time you got the whole family around the table back home? Well, the main Without dining room. Without your cell phones, just having dinner. Well, actual dinner talking to yes. each other face to face. So don't get the kids the uh, inter the internet uh, Wi-Fi plan when you're on the cruise. And they can all get sit down at the main dining room table and you can get the um the full experience of the multi-course course service and entertainment that is cruise dining. Right. Plus a lot of the time the main dining room they the servers do a show, a dance <laughs> yes. and show. Uh, that's what I was referring to. Yep. Uh huh. The entertainment, the mm -hmm. show. Uh huh. Get a, twirl some napkins around. Yep. Yep. Do so, some dancing. A lot of good stuff. Um, we, uh, Congo line was just mentioned. Yes. Could do a Congo line. There you go. Um, I think that's that's for family and adults. And you can I guess, try the drink of the kids. day. <laughs> Not for the kids. Okay. Well, they might have a a, a non alcoholic version okay. of the day okay let's move on from family activities then <laughs> oh boy now let's get back let's talk uh, i was trying to transition us to food let's talk about food what what can you do for breakfast and i wouldn't remember we're talking about cruise lines in general what are your options for activities on a sea day for breakfast brunch Brunch. Is it's, that where you're going? No, brunch. no, that's not where I'm going. That's between breakfast and lunch. I know it's called breakfast, brunch. Breakfast. I'll, uh, I'll I'll take this one. You okay. get ready to take lunch. Okay. Um, and, and brunch, of course. For for breakfast, you can order room service. Oh yeah. You can have the buffet, the and a lot of cruise ships will actually have a full service dinner served, like in the main dining rooms. So there's that. Um, you can have omelet bar. Yeah, so it varies what they have on different ships by cruise line, but there's a lot of options for breakfast on a sea day, um, and um, lunch and brunch. Why don't you? What what can you tell us about that on a sea day? So sometimes they have what's called a brunch. They combine <laughs> breakfast and lunch. <laughs> so <laughs> and, I I know I know I'm thinking of one cruise line in particular where they especially on a sea day they'll have a special big brunch, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, Sometimes it can be an extra thing you can purchase. Sometimes it's included in the price of your fare. Right. But there's you that. You just got to look for it in your cruise news itinerary thing. Uh huh. And and before we get to lunch, Dale says they tried the Starlink interne internet last weekend on Royal. Yeah. And it was almost a hundred uh, uh, mega. Hundred megabits mega, per second. Yeah. What make mega 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 mins um, per second. So wow. that's that's unheard of for a cruise ship. That's awesome. I mean, Royal Caribbean was doing a great job before with their internet, yeah. in my opinion. But um, that's great that they're doing this upgrading. So, so that's great to hear. So lunch. So sometimes they provide brunch. Some other cruise lines provide a high tea mm -hmm. or a noon tea. Where can they go for lunch? They can go to the main dining room, uh -huh. to the buffet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if they have other specialty restaurants, mm -hmm. you can have lunches there. You yeah. can also, if they have like a, a sushi bar, you can get sushi sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you will have to pay maybe a little bit extra oh, for that. That's true. That's true. And um, a lot of the cruise lines have a pizza place. Um, mm -hmm. Typically, it's it's pizza. getting... It's, it's complimentary. So for lunch or dinner, and let's shift now to dinner. Um, they have places like that. Of course, there's you know we're trying to avoid talking about specific cruise lines, but some some ships will have a burger bar or a hot dog stand or something like that. So so, so many good. options. Yeah, You're not going to go hungry. Right. Dinner on a sea day. What can you do for dinner on a sea day? Oh well, you can room service. You can go to the buffet. You can go to the main dining room. Mm -hmm. You can go to specialty restaurants. You can, yeah. You can eat at the little s stands that they have. Yep. A lot of cruise ships have different, yep. like specialty food stands, like pizza, hot dogs, sure, sandwiches. Well, deli. for for di for dinner, typically it's the main dining rooms, mm -hmm. uh, the buffet, and uh, specialty restaurants, like you said. But also, we should mention snacks because we've mentioned there's some some cruise lines that will have special places you can go to during the day to get food yeah. um, bakery areas or coffee shops with baked goods um 
a lot of cruise lines will have, usually by the pool area, self-serve ice cream. So you can get that too. Um, so how many, I just want, I'm just curious, how many people have had more than five ice creams in a day? What's the most ice cream cones that you've had in a day on a cruise ship? Just curious. Is it Are we just going to wait five? for them to answer? Well, I'm just curious if people... Okay. If you have more than five ice cream cones during on a day during a cruise, please put it in the chat or comment below. Should we move on? Uh, Dale was just mentioning that he thinks Carnival has the most lunch venues of, of any cruise line. It seems. Oh, yeah. Um, they're adding more like the, the street eats on the oh, new at Selpa yeah. ships and the, the uh, shacks. Uh, chicken, big chicken. Mm. But in shacks, uh, big chicken. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes. Yep. I like the, what was that? The bao, the bao bun area. That's three eats. Yep. Yeah, that was and so good. We have an answer. We have an answer. Breaking news. We need to. We need to get a transition here that I can put up for breaking news. Like you know. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Breaking news. Very good. That worked. <laughs> so we have a response on the ice cream cone challenge. Okay. I'll let you guess who is typing. See, like Journey says, I have had about twenty in a day. Twenty. Are you sure it was twenty, or if it was, you think it was twenty? Their answer is twenty. Are you going to challenge their answer? <laughs> no. Thanks, Chet. Um, Anyone else have have had? <laughs> Chet any... says Robin had a few more. <laughs> so you know, hey, Chet. Next time, maybe you can get up to a, a cool two dozen in one day. <laughs> oh boy, You're gonna make yourself sick. Don't you know there's other? We just told you there's dinner, there's lunch, there's breakfast. You can't just eat. Man can't live by ice cream alone. I've or had woman. When, when I've been on a Disney cruise, I the most I've had is three Mickey bars in a day. That was a good day. Hey. Uh, I, I, I can't compete with that. I got to save room for my uh, my steaks and my whiskey. So, um, and beer. Yep. Yeah. All priorities. Priorities. Um, <laughs> or goals. Yes, that's right. So, let's talk before. Let's wrap this up so we can move on to the next topic. Um, what specific to, and let's, let's focus. We'll focus on the four cruise lines we've been on so far. Four. Disney. <laughs> Carnival, Royal, Norwegian. Good job. So we're going to focus on those four. So if you have other ideas for specific sea day fun you can have on these or other cruise lines, put them in the chat or comment below. Yes. But starting with Carnival, you mentioned all the craft act activities. They, yes. I, I believe they still call it Make It With Michaels, mm -hmm. which they partner with the Michaels uh, craft store chain. Right. And you can make a craft during the day on a sea day. Or you can and make you can a take bear the supply sometimes. you need. Well, let's mm -hmm. <laughs> with what they're going to dive here. Good God. Yeah. You can make your little craft. You can mm -hmm. take it home for free. Right. The uh, Build-A-Bear workshop that, that Carnival has, um, I think that's specific Carnival, but I can't, don't hold me to that. Um, that is going to cost you something. A little just bit. Just like it would on land, but that is an option too. Yep. And other activities, if you're looking for something outdoors, it's like a little, little, uh, uh, you're an adrenaline junkie or something like that. The yeah. Bolt roller coaster Ooh. on the new, um, Excel class ships like the Mardi Gras. And the, so exciting. Yes. Nerve wracking too. And there's also, they also have the sky ride, which are like the bicycles in the air is like what I refer to them. What about um, Royal Caribbean? What are you doing? I'm doing the bicycle oh, sky I thought ride. you were being a hamster that was <laughs> scared of, I don't know what. <laughs> okay. Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean has famously on the back of many other ships has the I'll do Low it too. Rider. Oh, see, I didn't need to say. I'll just, I'll just, we'll just do charades here. <laughs> Flow rider. They also have the skydiving simulator, I Fly, which mm -hmm. I, is unique uh, on cruise ships, I believe, to Royal Caribbean. Yep. Um, at least I haven't seen anywhere else. They have their I thing too. The I, where you get in and it's like a big arm and. <laughs> The, the, North, the North Star? Yes, thanks. That's what it. Yes. That's what it's called. There's not an <laughs> eye in that word. Okay, <laughs> it looks like a big eyeball, I guess. So, um, yeah, on some of the ships they have the the North Star, and they have the sky pad on some of the ships. Yeah, the big uh, like the virtual reality trampoline type thing, parachutey thing. That's sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you have others for Carnival Royal Caribbean or any other cruise line, put them in the chat. What about Norwegian Cruise Line? They all they have the slides. Well, every no, these are, we're talking about stuff that they specialize in that's unique oh. to them. How about um, I think they're the only cruise line that has uh, 
has an actual race car track oh, on some no. of their ships. Yeah, that's kind of unique. That's new. And I, I don't believe they're the only cruise line that have this, but they're one of the few that has bowling alleys on some of the cruise ships. So we can go bowling in a couple weeks on a yeah. cruise ship. I, I'll just yep. blame I'll just blame the the waves if I if I don't get a strike. Yep. <laughs> so then, what about Disney? Disney, they have, well, they have the the what's that called the the aqueduct thing. The aqueduct, yep, yep. The, with the raft ride, and then they've got on the newer ships like the Disney Wish, they've got the Aqua Mouse, mm -hmm. which has more of a theme park feel to it with uh, some animated scenes going on inside there. And I think they have uh, alarms or fireworks. <laughs> they have fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. At, and alarms if the fireworks get too close to the ship. <laughs> exactly. And then uh, an activity you can do on a sea day when it's a little slow. And this is for adults, families, kids, whatever, on Disney Cruise Lines. They have the Midship Detective Agency. Yeah. You can go and follow one of four different mysteries around the ship. You can go and get your little kit or it's on the app, and you can go and explore the ship while you're solving a mystery. A couple other uh, mentions here is, uh, Dale mentioned the Abyss Slide on Royal. That's Ooh. the slide that's, and there's no water. You just slide down it, and it goes, that's that purple one that goes down, oh, and it goes into like a course yeah. group. Yeah, so you I don't have know to if I like, do that. Go like this. <laughs> I don't think you have to go like that. <laughs> it's not a straight drop. Oh. <laughs> Maybe if you feel like that, if you're scared enough, you might do that. Mm -hmm. um, sea Lake Journeys mentions laser tag, and I think yeah. a couple cruise lines have that, I believe. Oh, no, that's not the way it works, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like the time we were doing a video, and you and you said they had, you said they had, uh, some cruise ship had um, paintball, and I'm like, no cruise ship's gonna want you to shoot paintballs <laughs> on their cruise ship. Their multi-million dollar, it billion dollar cruise ship. Tag. Laser tag. Laser tag. Yeah. Odyssey of the Seas has bumper cars. That's Ooh, yeah, pretty cool. I haven't. Fun. We haven't checked that out. You got to check that out. They also and have ice skating some I, places. You, you took the words right out of Dale's mouth. He said it before you, though, actually. Dale put in the chat, ice skating. That, I can't believe I didn't put that on our magical little cards here, because that is an amazing one for Royal Caribbean. But so, they also have the ice bars, too. Some place, some cruise on, lines have the ice bars. Norwegian, I know, has the has the, you have the ice bar where you go in. You have to wear a, a parka, because it's so cold in there. And the, the bars How made of ice. How cold can it be? Us Minnesotans, we can handle the cold. You live in Florida now. <laughs> You're looking for you're complaining. It was 48 degrees this morning. You're complaining. It was cold. <laughs> okay, Minnesota. <laughs> um, and like Dale mentioned earlier, on celebrity, they have ice, uh, glass blowing, not ice, glass blowing um, classes. So a lot of activities. Not ice glass blowing. <laughs> okay. Well, I was thinking of ice car, ice sculpture carving. Oh, yeah, so they, they have, have that on some ice, trips too. Ice sculptures. Okay. So if you have, we need to wrap this up and move on to our next big topic. So if you have another idea for an activity that we left out that people should know about, put your favorite uh, sea day fun activity in the chat below and, 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 Mention that so we can share it with everybody else. Watch it. Put it in the chat down below and let us know. Um, but we've had a lot of fun sharing our CD right. activities. There's and also hey, coloring and trivia, too. Yeah. I think they might have mentioned well, at least one of those. But yeah, we could go on for hours doing this. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. We need to move on because we got something very important to do next uh, before we get to our Norwegian Jewel uh, topic. And that is... So, Cruise Hero of the Week. This week, we don't have a Cruise Hero, but we're looking for nominees. We've had a lot of great nominations, and we, we have shared many. I think, have a feeling we'll probably have some new Cruise Heroes to share after our next yeah. cruise in a couple weeks. Yes. But you can nominate your yeah. Cruise Hero, that one person, somebody you want to let everybody know about, share on YouTube the name of a crew member, uh, a, a fellow passenger, a tour guide, whoever it was that made your cruise extra special, just email us at info at cruisedayfun.com. Let us know their name, what cruise ship they're on, and what they did to make your cruise extra special. That's right. And your cruise hero may be featured on our show here on YouTube. Mm hmm Okay, I so, like the music. <laughs> thanks. 
Okay, so now we need to move on to our next topic. Next topic is? <laughs> Over there. Okay, so now 10 things that you will love about the Norwegian Jewel. That's right. We have 10 things that you want to be sure you don't miss on Norwegian Jewel. Uno, starting dos, tres, with... Cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho, o, diez. Starting with the Great Outdoors. The Great yes. Outdoors is a buffet area. Uh, just outside of the main buffet area. You go get your buffet food, uh, and the garden cafe is awesome. There's seating area in there, but you can go just a little further to the back of the ship and sit outside, enjoy the great view at the great outdoors. They even have a bar so you can get yourself a nice drink with your buffet lunch or dinner. Yum. So what is, what's number two? Number two is Ocean's Bar and Grill. <laughs> okay, yes, Ocean's Bar and Grill. Ocean's Bar and Grill is a complimentary food location on Norwegian ships, and Norwegian Jewel has it. Norwegian Jewel's Ocean's was a place we really enjoyed. You can go there. There's nice seating with a nice, nice look. It's, a, it's basically an Irish pub-themed place with seating with like a kind of a, you know, a restaurant feel, nice family restaurant where you can get breakfast, lunch, lunch dinner, and dinner, and snacks. A lot of great food, oh, yeah. um, including the price of your fare on Norwegian Jewel. Be mm -hmm. sure to check that out. A lot of great food. So and, yummy. Yeah. And if you feel like getting a drink, uh, Norwegian um, Norwegian Jewel's Oceans is also a bar. So you can purchase drinks there, too. So it's hopping all day long. Uh, daytime. You do your potato rounds. Those are so good. Oh, yeah. From the from the breakfast menu, that those are great. That's one of my favorite things on yeah. Norwegian. So check that out. So number three is going to be the Pit Stop Bar. It's a new bar added to the Norwegian Jewel with a new theme, race car theme, overlooking the pool area. It's a great spot to sit and hang out and enjoy the fresh air as you enjoy a nice drink. Get yourself a, a, a frozen drink or, 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 or Mango maybe a, a, yes, or a heated drink. Some great spot, a great spot to watch the, the sea and watch the activity on the ship. The pit stop bar. What is number four? Number four is La Cucina, the Italian restaurant. So good where you can get some good tiramisu, get some good fettuccine. Yes. Some good uh, They have great pasta. pasta. <laughs> they have great appetizers. And, of course, Joy's got to mention the tiramisu. I know that's one of her favorite things on yes. any cruise ship. Uh, La Cucina was our favorite. Uh, well, if not our favorite, one of our favorite restaurants, specialty dining options on the region Jewel. We actually went there twice. Right. So we, once one, was not enough. One time they sang to us wow. in Italian. It's so okay. romantic. And then number five is going to be that the Norwegian Jewel isn't a huge ship. There's some great larger ships if that's what you're into. But if you want a more intimate setting, the Norwegian Jewel is a nice, moderate-sized ship. So it's got like this atrium area is a nice relaxing area where you can enjoy some music or some entertainment, get yourself coffee or cocktail. It's got smaller club areas. You can go there. We went there and we saw a uh, Michael Jackson performer. Oh, yeah, they were incredible performer. Yep. Did great cover songs, for Michael Jackson, but a smaller, intimate club setting. You can go around the ship and you can see the same crew members on a regular basis because it's not one of these ships with like 5,000 passengers. It is a nice size, and I think that was definitely a big bonus, uh, and I think you will love that about Norwegian Jewel. So what is number six? Number six is the sushi bar. Ooh, oh, so good. Yes. The sushi bar is awesome. Uh, they have a la carte prices. Mm -hmm. You order the sushi, you maybe get some sake, and they'll prepare the sushi for you. And mm -hmm. if you get, you can get a seat right where they make the sushi. Mm -hmm. So you can watch them make the sushi. It's, at, it's an amazing show. At the actual bar. Yes. Exactly. And the sushi was really good. We ordered a lot of different types and they did a great job preparing them. Very mm -hmm. tasty. Yes. And I thought that was pretty reasonably priced. Yeah. We got so. it like a spider roll, uh -huh. a crunchy uh you could go through the list all of them. It was good. It, it was all good. We recommend that if you're looking at, for something extra special to do, especially I think it was a good lunchtime activity for us. Um, the sushi bar and sake bar adjoining it on the Norwegian Jewel is number six. You won't want to miss that. For number seven, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to say the steakhouses because 
there's actually two steakhouses on Norwegian Jewel. There Oof. is Cagney's, the American style steakhouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was great. Had one of the best ribeyes I've ever had in my life. Great service, great traditional American style steakhouse, fine dining. But there's also Moderno Churrascaria, oh. which is the Brazilian steakhouse. That was my favorite bar. What, what did you like about that? I like their their salad bar. That oh, was yeah. that was the most amazing salad bar. Yeah, a very extensive salad bar, a nice view overlooking the uh, the pool area on the deck, a nice view looking out to sea, and that massive salad bar. But that's just the beginning because after you get your salad bar, they bring around meats to you. As much as you want to eat, they bring them around, around meat on skewers, beef, chicken, pork, sausages. It's like a parade of meat. Yeah, and they keep bringing it until you say you've had enough. It's a fun time, I would say, if mm -hmm. if you have a group of people mm -hmm. who who like to eat meat. Yep, that's the place to go. Moderna Churrascaria and Cagney's. Hey, if you can if you can swing it and you can afford it, do both. Right, that's what I say. It's a fun experience. I highly recommend it. I agree. What is number eight? Um, number eight are the drinks on board the ship. They're amazing. There's a mudslide there, and then there's a strawberry daiquiri. Mm -hmm. But what and is your favorite? You already my, mentioned it, I think. <laughs> my favorite, of course, on the Norwegian jewel was the mango meltdown. It was yes. so good. Once Always. I found that drink, I, that was the drink I stuck with. Yep. For the rest I of know the that's cruise. one of your favorites. So let's move on to number nine. Number nine is th this ship actually has this ship actually has two main dining rooms for a smaller ship. It's not a massive size ship, but it does have two main dining rooms. And I'm going to recommend Zars. Zars at the back of the ship has an awesome view, uh, looking at the, uh, the the wake of the ship. Uh, very very interesting uh, classic design. Um, a beautiful staircase entry and. Delicious food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I recommend Zars. Yes. That's number nine. What is our final number 10 things that you will love about Norwegian Jewel? Number 10 is yes. the crew. The crew is amazing on the Norwegian Jewel. We love the crew. They yes. were so fantastic. They did a great job. And if you uh, if you enjoy the crew as much as we did, we recommend you do what Joy did, and that is to fill out comment cards, drop them in the bo comment boxes, and let them know what crew member did a great job for you and made your cruise extra special because they want to let those crew members know and reward them. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the ways they get promotions. But we encountered a lot of exceptional service on the Norwegian Jewel from the crew, so we got to give them a shout out as our 10th reason you'll love the Norwegian Jewel. They're the best. So we hope you found that helpful. If you did like that, give us a thumbs up by clicking below. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a way to follow so you don't miss out on our future cruise videos. Right. And it really helps us. And if you think of any other um, great things that you want us to mention or go over, mm -hmm. give us, uh, let us know in our link below. So in we the can, comments, yeah. Right, so mm -hmm. we can cover that for you. Yeah. So anything else we, we need to cover? I, I th do you think we should do another one of these? I was thinking we could go through and review some of the other ships we've been on. And yeah, Give the top definitely. 10 things you'll love about them. Let's share a little love. There's share too much, some love. Too much animosity and negativity in the world. Let's share some love. What will you love? Uh, I guess our next ship would probably be Carnival Liberty, so we'll cover that probably next week. Okay. And we'll have some other fun topics. Um, anything else we need to say before we go? Um, I, I probably should mention that not next next Saturday, which what will next Saturday be? This is the 7th, so it'll be the 14th. The 21st, we'll be getting on to our Norwegian Jewel, Norwegian Jewel, Norwegian Escape Cruise. Mm -hmm. So we won't be doing a live show on the 21st, but we'll be back on the 14th. So tune in next week, and we'll see you then. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.